Like there was this ridiculous video the other day, comics for Kamala. Oh, did you see that? Uh, no, what I saw, white men for Kamala. Was that it? There's a, the dudes, white dudes, the for, white Kamala. dudes for Kamala. This is all organized, by the way. And there was a, a Twitch streamer, like one of the big time Twitch streamers, one of the big guys, who read out what they were offering him. They were offering him money to uh, advocate for Kamala Harris online. He's like, I am not fucking doing this. And so he's like reading this thing where they're they're offering money. They're literally paying of for course. astroturfing. Yeah. The, the the most egregious thing I've seen recently, you know, if after everything of the past eight years, nine years, it's hard to get pissed off genuinely anymore. But is now all the left people saying that Trump is afraid to debate Trump to or that Kamala. Trump is afraid to debate right. Kamala. And I saw this meme of Trump is like the cowardly lion. Everyone's like, he's never going to show up. And it's yeah. like you said the exact same thing about Biden, the yeah. exact same thing. And Trump went in there and was just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it was. Oh, man. The guy who got shot in the face like two days ago right. and said, fight, 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 is scared to, to, to debate Kamala. Yeah, it seems ridiculous. But, you know, that's just what they do. That's politics. They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They, they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas. But he's um, he's much more reasonable and intelligent. I mean, the guy was an environmental attorney and cleaned up the East River. I mean, he's he's a legitimate guy, you know. Before anybody started calling him an anti-vaxxer, which I thought he was, too. I thought he was this nut, this like conspiracy theorist nut. Until I read his book, I read the real Anthony Fauci, and I'm like, what is? It? <sighs> How much of this is real? Because if it's all real. This is fucking insane, and we live in a world where we're being manipulated by these health organizations that are being paid by the pharmaceutical drug interests. And these pharmaceutical drug companies are pumping these products out into the population and telling us that we need them, and then making insane amounts of money. And then also the government is in on it, and also they share a patent with Moderna, and also... They, they share profits, and there's $700 million, 700, I mean, however, however much money was made, whatever the, the number is that these guys made off of these products. Like, this is, all of it is fucking crazy. There's the revolving door between the CDC and the FDA and then these pharmaceutical drug companies. So the people that make the regulations then go on to have these cushy jobs with the pharmaceutical drug corporations. Like, oh, nothing to see here. <laughs> it's like it's open. It's right out in the open. Right. And when he talks about all that stuff in his book, you're just like, what the man? If this wasn't true, he would be sued. Yeah. But it so is, it seems to be true. Yeah. It's and it's point. a scary thing because people don't want to talk about it because they don't want to be attacked. You know, they don't want to be called an anti-vaxxer. That's a big one. Right. You know. It cracked me up how a lot of the people on the right started to despise the vaccine. And then Trump at the same time was like... It's my vaccine, you guys. Yeah. And then he got kind of confused. It's one of the rare times in politics that Trump like didn't seem sure of his course. Well, I think he was proud of getting it out yeah. there. Warp speed. Yeah. And he was proud that they did it. We got the vaccine. It was a good vaccine. I don't think he knows. You no. know, I think he took it, which is crazy, too, because the guy survived COVID. He got COVID before the vaccine was developed. And yeah. then he still took the vaccine, which is like literally illogical it's like doesn't even, it flies in the face of science and what we understand about the immune system no um but you know there's a video of anthony fauci from many years ago on a talk show saying someone got the flu should they get a flu shot no because you if you survive the disease if you recover from the disease you have the best protection He's like literally saying that. Right. And then, of course, that was thrown out the window when they wanted to vaccinate everybody. Well, plus it's not a vaccine. Right. A vaccine is a flu shot. It's the equivalent of a flu shot because a vaccine means you can't get it. Well, it's even more weird because it's mRNA, right? So it's like this messenger RNA. It's, it's basically gene therapy. Like you're tricking your body into creating these antibodies. Right. And you're also doing a bunch of damage to some people, yeah. which is also their gaslighting right. about how many people are vaccine injured. I fucking know a bunch of them. We all do. Yeah. We all know somebody who got up by that stuff. It's all crazy.